right. All right. <laughs> Welcome to the first edition of the uh, painting special for Dark Harris from Don't Panic Games. Yes. Uh, we're here with Ben Comets. Hi. And today we will be painting the fire elemental. Ta da! As you can see, a beautiful miniature. Yes, very nice. A lot of nice curves. Mm -hmm. And yeah, uh, the goal for today is to see how we can achieve a nice contrasty look for a tabletop miniature. Mm -hmm. So this will be a little different from your usual painting. Yeah. You're not going to spend two days on this miniature. <laughs> we'll try to get uh, this done in about two to three hours. Yeah. And uh, you'll uh, demonstrate some really nice techniques for everyone. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, the special uh, of today uh, will be we will not be using a lot of wet and wet blending. Uh, we will be more um, using classical beginner um, techniques such mm -hmm. as layering. All right, cool. Okay. So what we, do we see here? You've already base coated. Uh, you prepared the miniature and you base coated it. Yes. Uh, I put her on a very simple small base, mm -hmm. just right for tabletop. Nothing too fancy, nothing too small parts that could break off. So, mm -hmm. um, and I started with a black foundation and primed white on top. Mm -hmm. So, we have like a first light situation, like a sketch for the light. So you can see here is some nice dark shadows left. That will help us to uh, get a more contrasty, more three D look. Mm -hmm. So you uh, first base coated it completely black, mm -hmm. and then you just used white from uh, from the top. Yes. And you used uh, which uh, foundation for that? Um, f the Games Workshop spray paint in mm -hmm. the can. All right. Cool. Okay. So uh, we will start with the base tone for uh, the demon itself or the the elementar itself, and uh, another base color for the flames. Mm -hmm. And yeah, let's start mixing the paint. All right, so let's uh, start with the paints. What kind of paints are you using? Which colors are you using? Um, we're using today the uh, Scale 75 color. Mm -hmm. um, let's have a look at the palette. We have some uh, Mars orange here, some Kalahari orange there, Soul yellow and Tenere yellow, a more shock yellow. This one is quite bright. Uh, black and a white mm -hmm. and some bright red. It's uh, Aldebaran red and some Indian shadows here. All right. So those will be more for the shadows, um, the highlight tones on the figure, and uh, the base tone of the color of the flames. Mm -hmm. All right. So we start with a light mix for uh, our main body. Uh, I will use some of the tenere yellow. And mix it with some of the Mars orange. more of the tenere yellow and a little bit of the soul yellow to get it a little bit brighter it looked like flesh tone mm -hmm. beginning, so yeah, I think that is a good tone So the uh, consistency of the paint is uh, what now? It's, it's pretty thick. You're trying to cover it quickly, or yeah, in in one or two layers. Mm -hmm. Not too thick, but the um, scale seventy five color comes a little thicker. So uh, yeah, make sure to put a little water in there. Mm -hmm. But you can see it covers quite well. Yep. And yeah, we'll continue with the first layer. Um, some of you might think, okay, why did he spray paint it black and white on top and now we're covering everything? But as you can see here on the uh, belly area, um, you can still see the foundation shining through and mm -hmm. just showing a little bit of uh, color contrast. So it kind of uh, shows you the, the it still gives you a hint of the lights and where the shadows go. Yeah. Okay. Okay. 
All right, so you spend about, what, 15 minutes yeah. on uh, putting the base colors on? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can see I used two different tones, as I said before, uh, a lighter one for the demon itself and a darker one. That is the darker color, that is just Kalahari orange, mm -hmm. so just pure out of the pot. Okay, and you apply it uh, between one and two layers? Yeah. On some areas you actually left it a little darker? Yeah, you can see here uh, the foundation is still shining through mm -hmm. more, also on the, top uh, on the top flames here. And here it was a little bit more thinned down to just get into the small recesses. Okay. Already looks pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just just base colors. <laughs> yeah, I think the the choice of colors is uh, always pretty important. Mm. So I think that would be a good start. Yeah. So the next step would be uh, either highlights or shadows. You can choose that uh, yourself. We will go for highlights to get like the, the very nice contrast, and the fire should be bright. So we start with the contrast with the light color mm -hmm. to see where the contrast goes. All right. Cool. Okay, I will show you how to how I work on an area like that because it's uh, quite good to see also here and later in the detail phase we'll also take care about the face. Okay, cool. Okay, so today as I said, uh, no wet blending, but uh, more like layers, like layering technique. So um, I will start with the quite a bright highlight here on the top. Mm -hmm. Let it dry and then work a little to the sides with the with the mid tone. Okay, so it's probably going to look a little awkward in the first. Yeah, step. yeah, yeah. The the first step will be like, ooh, that's way too much, but okay. you will see the the result. All right, it's cool. Just nice, and it's really nice for a strong blending with a lot of contrast in a decent time. And I think that's uh, something that's really important for tabletop miniatures is really strong contrast, contrast, right? Yeah, definitely. Okay, so uh, we'll start with uh, some of the. We'll start with some of the tenere yellow, and just add a little bit of the base tone that we used. And as it's quite chalky or, or uh, whitish, we'll add some of the soul yellow. Okay, that looks good. It still leaves us some space on top to to add like the final highlight. So, just think of what would catch the light. Nice, strong contrast here. And um, you wouldn't want to make this too wide an area, right? No, it should be uh, small, but very um, high contrast highlight. Mm -hmm. Okay, that layer is uh, dry. Go for another one, just on top. That's also very important that you make sure that you let your paints dry completely. Otherwise, you're just going to pull it off again and you're going to have like really horrible spots. Yeah. You sometimes use a, um, like you did this for the base coat as well, a uh, um, hair dryer mm -hmm. to just uh, speed up the whole process, right? Yeah. But you have to be careful with plastic miniatures, especially with small parts like that. They uh, always have the danger to bend when they get warm. So mm -hmm. be careful. Okay, uh, I'll go for a little bit brighter contrast. Uh, still not bright enough for my taste. Um, I'll add, just add some white and make a small little line just here, a little there. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, I will let that dry and. Just when it's dry, we will uh, refine it to the sides. Now, as you can see on the palette, we're mixing a middle tone between the two tones we had. Okay, that should be good. And just try to hit the spot between the two lines that you've drawn. Mm -hmm. Now the other side. Okay. 
the layer now is uh, quite thinner than, than the highlight layer before. Okay. So it uh, makes sure that you uh, that it, that um, both the uh, base coat and the highlights still shine through. Yes. And this creates the kind of natural blending uh, between those two areas. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when you turn it like this, you can actually see the difference in contrast already. Yeah. Okay, a little bit here. Okay, uh, this is now pure Tenere yellow. Then down a little. And just. on the middle. Um, while we are in that area, we can also add little highlights already here to other details. It's a really strong contrast, isn't it? Although it's very similar colors. Yeah, yep, like because the, the contrast area is uh, smaller. Mm. Also, we have the darker orange already here. Mm. It already pops out. Yeah, I think the contrast here will get stronger once we add the shadows. Mm -hmm. Because you see this is quite a large surface and mm. it needs to be broken also with the, with the shadow color. Cool. All right, uh, I'll continue with the highlights on that side and we'll be back once I have the highlights here on that area. Okay, cool. All right, you can see I've added some highlights, especially this one here is, is quite nice here. Um, same as down here. Mm -hmm. Just, here it's quite nice to see how, how nice that contrast is actually already with the shadow color. Mm -hmm. So we'll continue with uh, some highlights here. On and the chest and the on the body. chest on the uh, on the breast, and yeah, we will go for a, even a stronger contrast here, so lighter because it's more on top and more to the face. So. So as you go up on the miniature, you want to get brighter. Yeah. Um, we'll take some of the um, Tenere yellow. And use it pure. It looks very horrible now, but um, yeah, that's just the, the very first spots of light. Mm -hmm. You see, I made them round, a little like the shape of the, the breast itself, so the light reflex is following that, that shape. Mm -hmm. Okay, we will let that dry. It's very important that you let that completely dry, otherwise you would rip off uh, pigments and it's very hard to correct. Mm -hmm. Okay, I just... Put some water in the brush. I still have some of the the Tenere yellow in there, so it's just more thinned down. And we'll just add a thin layer to the sides. And because you put water on there, uh, the paint becomes more transparent. Yeah. And uh, with that, you can create like a more like a smooth blending. As you can see, the water is slowly disappearing. we we'll just add another thin glaze. First to one side and then to the other. I 
I think the secret here is uh, try not to be too thick with the paint. You can uh, go over the same area three times with a thin paint, but if it's too thick, it's just not going to look right. Yeah, definitely. Okay, to another layer. You can actually see on the brush how thin the paint is. You hardly see the color, it's mostly water. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's it's already turning out nice. I'll mm -hmm. add a little bit more color. Just you can see the small line here. I want to get rid of that. All right. So we'll continue in that matter uh, over the whole body. Just leave the face for later on. And we'll be back once the highlights are completed on the figure. Okay. Okay, for the, for the time being, you're uh, done with the first highlights. Uh, we've not done the face yet. Yeah. Uh, now you're doing the shadows. Yeah, you can still see in some areas it looks a little rough, like on the shoulders, but we will find uh, refine that during the process. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the next step would be quite strong shadows. Um, same as we did with the highlight, just place it and then refine the, the transition between the colors next to each other. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we will start uh, on the breast here because it's quite a prominent place and you can st he already see the, the shape quite nice. So we will mix some Indian shadow with some of the Kalahari brown. That's really quite dark, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, but as I said earlier, I want to really maximize the contrast mm. as this figure should be for, for tabletop gaming purposes. Yeah, but it's really dark. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, next would be a thinner glaze here, also to increase the, the, uh, the contrast. So if you're a beginning painter, glaze usually means that you're watering down the paint quite a bit. Yeah. That uh, when you apply it, it really, the, the underlying um, structure really shines through a lot. And again, you can see it on the brush as well. It's very, very diluted. Mm -hmm. And with that same thin down mix, We'll also already try to refine the edge here a little bit. Take a little bit more paint. Mm -hmm. We'll continue like that on the other side and we will um, just soften it out with the um, starting tone with the base color again mm -hmm. because it's quite strong here. Yeah. And we'll continue on the uh, thigh later.
All right. So uh, even without the fast forward, this was, this was a pretty fast uh, process. Yeah. And as you saw, uh, you placed the darkest color. Uh, then you use kind of the mid-tone again in a thin consistency mm -hmm. to um, um, get some blending between the two areas there. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Yeah, we will uh, refine that a little bit. Uh, I have to pull the figure a little bit closer uh, to, my, to my face. <laughs> it might be not pretty uh, handy on the cam. So uh, I'll do that quickly off cam, just about 10 minutes, and we'll be back. All right, so as you can see here, um, I just uh, took some of the, the dark color, the Indian shadow, mm -hmm. and just uh, painted the flames here and softened out the contrast a little bit to the sides. Mm -hmm. I will show uh, just uh, with a thin wash how to get more depth into the into the uh, flames down there. Okay. And then we'll continue with uh, some details. Okay. So here's some of the Indian sh Indian shadow. We'll just thin that down very much. So, a glaze is just a really diluted layer of paint. You see it's quite wet. Mm. We'll even I uh, take some more water in the brush and thin it down so it really hits all the recesses. Mm -hmm. When you're applying glazes with this amount of water, we also call this a wash. Yeah. Just water. I also did here the, the transition on the top flame here, mm -hmm. to, towards the hand, I did the, the same way. I just put some paint down here and then just with the wet brush pulled it towards the shadow of the arm. Mm -hmm. And if it's on the first time it's too thin, you just uh, repeat this a couple of times until you get the desired effect. Right. right? Better go thin uh, than too, too dark, too thick. Uh, because that will leave uh, some nasty spots. Yeah. But yeah, you can see it quite nice here how the water uh, collects in the recesses. Mm -hmm. All right, we let that dry. Uh, maybe we just add a thin layer on top here. Let that dry and be back for some details. Okay, cool. So yeah, to spice things up a little, uh, we'll um, add some small details. That's also very important for tabletop figures. Um, I decided to go for some uh, dried lava. So we have cracked small spots of dried black lava there. Mm -hmm. um, I think it will also add some nice little detail here and there, also later for the face. So we'll start here on a small area like that. It's uh, quite nice and easy to show. I switched the brush. Um, I'm now using a um, Zero, Winsor & Newton uh, Standard Series. Mm -hmm. And before that, what, what did you use there? Uh, I think it was a 2. Mm -hmm. So a pretty large one. Yeah. I think it's also important to know that uh, you don't need the smallest brushes available. Um, all you need is a good tip on the brush. Yeah, that's very important. Um, and the Winsor & Newton usually have a very fine tip. So, um, but I still, for the detail work, I switch for the final brush. Mm -hmm. <coughs> right, I'll start with bigger ones here, just small spots. Small ones to the side. Make sure they're not getting too round, so it doesn't look like leopard pattern. Mm. You learn some uh, jagged edges and yeah. sharp edges.
that should be okay for the beginning and we'll um, use some lighter color to increase the contrast a little bit more because it's you can see them but it's not too obvious mm -hmm. clean the brush because you don't want any black in there Now we're taking a little bit of the Tenere yellow and try to hit the spots between them. Yeah, this gives a really nice contrast because it's this really bright yellow right next to the black. Yeah, you see how that pops just with a little uh, small highlight next to it. Mm -hmm. It's all on the top of the planes here. Right, and we'll continue like that. Uh, I think I'll continue like that on the whip first and we'll show you the finished result and then you show the same effect on a larger area. Okay, cool. Okay, uh, as you can see, I finished the um, dried lava look here. Uh, same as on the other side and as well on larger areas like uh, like the thigh here, mm -hmm. uh, you can see it works quite nice with the just a dark spot and a small highlight underneath. Yeah. Um, we will also add <coughs> larger ones here and there, uh, also to get a nice uh, transition between the small flames and uh, the smooth skin. Mm -hmm. And you can even hide like uh, like you see a little. Uh, border there still on the thigh where it's not completely blended and you can even yeah. hide that by yeah. just applying these kind of areas exactly just some black for the start Yeah, I like that. Yeah. Um, I think I'll do some small ones also up here, mm -hmm. also to get a little bit of a transition up there, and maybe some down here. All right. Yeah, looking good. All right, and next step would be the highlights just next to it. So as you can see, this is really simple. There's no magic <laughs> involved at all. But the uh, effect that results from that is really, really nice. Very high contrast, a lot of um, texture to the whole surface. Yeah, also, if you want to increase that textured look, 
Uh, you can also add some very small uh, just dots of the light color to pull it a little bit more into the, the upper area here. Mm -hmm. Oops, it was a little thick, but it's good to uh, we can show you how to easy cover it. Everything, the small mistakes. Okay, we're taking some of the orange, uh, a little bit thinner than before, and just glaze over the dots a little, and also correct the area here. Mm-hmm. Yep. All right. So I'll continue like that on the upper part and we'll be back once everything is covered. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you've added a couple of more of those uh, lava bits. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can see it works all around the figure. Yeah, it looks pretty nice. Yeah, I also added some highlights on the small flames on the breast mm -hmm. as well as on the arms. Very simple, just small light dots. Yeah. And there's one very important area completely missing. Yes, the face. The uh, face, oh no. Yeah, I think it will uh, make a huge difference once we've uh, added more colors to the face, more mm -hmm. contrast. Okay, so we start. Uh, I think the face should be very bright. So, uh, again, uh, first highlights. So. We'll go for a mixture of uh, Tener yellow and white. Okay, first of all, uh, we'll add some light to the eyeballs. You can see how Ben actually uses his hand um, on the cork to stabilize the brush. It's very important when you're painting small details like this. Well, even though I failed a little here, <laughs> but uh, we'll cover that up later. So the eyes should be kind of glooming, so we'll uh, really add a strong white light there. Yeah, that already makes a big difference, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, you can see this eye is a little bit goofy. <laughs> Let's continue with the highlights. Uh, some yellow. Off the left part here. And just with a clean brush, or almost clean, pull it a little to the side. Same mix on the forehead, on the eyebrow. You're trying to um, catch all of the raised areas that are exposed to the light most. Yeah. So the ridge of the nose, um, the top part of the lips, uh, the cheeks, top part of the cheeks at least. Forehead. And probably the chin as well, or a yeah, little bit? Chin a little and uh, eyebrow area. Mm -hmm.
you can hear our uh, vent sometimes blows on at the miniature just to make sure that the paint dries more correctly. Yeah. And we'll continue on the other side. Mm -hmm. And we'll go back when once the highlights are done. Okay, cool. So the flames will be uh, the final part to add here on the model. Maybe a little glow down here, but uh, just a tiny bit. So you can see I've added very tiny highlights mm -hmm. on the flames to make them uh, look a little bit more crisp, a little bit more 3D. Mm -hmm. um, we will also do this here, but not as small as the ones here because the flames seem to be quite a bit larger. Yeah. Um, Actually, it's pretty much the same as before, so we'll add uh, a strong contrast like before and then glaze with the middle tone. Mm -hmm. um, here, to get that uh, textured look, again, some small dots. That's something you also do on your um, kind of showcase miniatures. Uh, you try to avoid those really long lines where you just uh, kind of edge highlight everything. It makes things look much more um, dynamic and alive. Yeah, as you can see, I mean, this was just one minute. It already starts to look a lot more vivid. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nice. Right, some up here. Larger, <laughs> larger spot. Because I want a broader highlight there. Okay. Yep. So for the next step, we'll take the color that we've started with our base tone, the light orange. Remember, uh, I started on the flames a bit darker, so that should be just perfect. And those little dots that you placed before will now shine through. Yeah. And kind of make a really nice. Yeah, picture. you see it here, the, the result is really nice. Mm -hmm. and, uh, it's just like a one minute blending. Mm -hmm. Same on the, the upper side here. It's really nice uh, if you have nicely sculpted flames like that. Mm. Uh, you can use easily the sides of the brush, so you don't need to try to hit everything with the tip. Mm -hmm. Just like that, just hit it with the side. Yep, nice. Okay, so I'll continue like that and we'll be back once the flames are completed. It's uh, really the same on all the spots. Okay. So you just uh, took the miniature to the side for about five minutes. Mm -hmm. So it was a really quick job. But you can already see that those flames really look nice. It works quite well, I think. Mm -hmm. um, you might have noticed I've uh, just slapped some uh, colors on the base. 
I kept it very simple, um, just some gray for the rocks, uh, which is cork, by the way, mm -hmm. just a small piece of cork and some uh, small bird sand to give some gravel to the sides. Mm -hmm. I've added some green, just as it's been glazed, kind of mossy, to get that moss look uh, that we also have on the Dracarys uh, uh, promo pictures. Mm -hmm. um, we will add just a tiny glow here on the top stone, so the fire looks more alive. Okay, uh, that's what we call the uh, object source lighting. Yeah. So basically a light source that reflects on different surfaces. Mm -hmm. uh, we will keep it very simple as it's meant to be uh, elaborate tabletop. Mm -hmm. nature, so um, I'll take some of that bright yellow, the solar yellow. A little bit of orange, just a tiny bit, and place it close to the fire. It's uh, not really touching the, the fire itself. Mm -hmm. You can see just some small spots, and while the paint is still wet, it's called feathering. Just take the wet brush and pull the pigments away. Mm -hmm. So right now you only have water on the brush. Yeah. And then you're feathering out the blob of paint you put on there. Mm -hmm. But it was quite diluted before. It mm -hmm. was uh, not too massive. Right. We let that dry and go a little bit brighter and continue all around. But, uh, it's the same everywhere. So do you only use yellow or do you also use the orange for that? Yeah, this is a little bit orange in the yellow. Mm -hmm. um, and now I will add some of that uh, tenir yellow, the bright yellow one, the, the palish one. Mm -hmm. Now pull it a little out. Right. Mm -hmm. I think it should be a little bit more orange. Yeah, it's a little yellow, isn't it? Yeah. But I will make s uh, some areas more yellow and some more orange. It might uh, help to increase the the lively uh, impression. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Yeah, that's better. Nice. Just some very, very tiny highlights there. Yeah, especially here on the small gravel bits. And I will add some orange here as well. Nice. All right. And that's done. Yeah, done. So not even three hours. That's pretty good. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, it looks a little bit over tabletop standard, mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I think everyone can invest three hours in a in a character model for for his army. Absolutely, yes. It still takes a little practice, especially the um, um, consistency of the paint mm -hmm. is important. So never try try not to be too thick with the paint. Yeah. That's probably the number one tip. And then with a little practice, um, you'll be able to do these things as well. Sure. So let us know uh, and let uh, Takeris and Don Penny Games know if you like this. 
and hopefully there will be more. Yeah, hope you enjoyed it. Bye. Bye.